Hi, I'm Tony Fremen and welcome to Angler. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, very quick but very tasty uh, gravy uh, to serve with roast Irish beef. So what we've got here is a piece of roast Irish sirloin and underneath we've put carrots, onions, celery, garlic, rosemary, bay leaf and the bones of the beef as well. So this has been roasted in the oven now for you know 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, we don't need the meat. The meat, what we do, we let the meat rest and then this is where all the flavour is. So here you've got all the vegetables that have been cooking underneath the meat and the bones <clears throat> and the herbs, okay? Packed full of flavour. I'm going to put that back onto the stove, leave the fat in there, leave everything in there and bring it back uh, to the heat. What we're going to do is going to put some red wine into the pan and deglaze, uh, get all the juices off the bottom of the pan. Uh, any lot roasted caramelisation from the juices, we'll take that off of the bottom of the pan as well. And then we'll reduce the red wine down to burn off the alcohol and make it quite intense and rich. So next, we've got a good beef stock. So you can see now it's quite light, the stock, as it goes into the, uh, into the pan. And what we're going to do is, you don't need to cook that for too long, just to dry out the flavour. You just want to cook that for about 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes. So you can see already, starting to get nice and thick and rich, okay? Some people do add flour to the pan, but you really want to avoid that, and it really isn't necessary. There's enough gelatine, there's enough body in the sauce by reducing uh, to avoid putting any flour in, and the flour will mask any flavour. You want to keep it nice and clean. So we need to do, take a colander, and just pour the whole lot into the colander. It smells absolutely fantastic as it is, to be honest. Those carrots could be eaten as they are. There's so much uh, flavour in there. And that's nearly ready to go. I think that just needs to be a little bit thicker. But what we're going to do now, just put it through a, a fine sieve or a chinois. As you can see, you're just left with a little bit of sediment there. And again, that's, what, that's the difference between making. No, it's still good flavour, but it's give your gravy just a touch more class just by taking that out. So you can see now, it's got a good body to it. If it's too thick at this point, because you won't know until you've strained it, all you need to do is just add a little bit more stock. Or if it's too thin and you want some more body, just boil it. It's got natural gelatin in there already from the bones. So if you keep boiling it and boiling it and reducing it down, it'll become thicker and thicker and thicker. And then that's it, ready to go. Pour it into a little sauce boat. Okay, so that's finished. Our roast beef uh, red wine gravy uh, made from the roasting pan, which for me, packed full of flavour which will really make the difference between your average roast dinner and a top class roast dinner.